Example 1. A 10 kg mass is placed on a smooth horizontal surface. The velocity of the mass changes from 0 to 25 meter per second in 5 seconds. When a force is exerted on it, find the magnitude of the force. Let's list down the information given. Mass is 10 kg. Initially, velocity u is 0. Final velocity v is 25 meter per second. The time taken for the motion t is 5 seconds. We are looking for f. The magnitude of the force can be determined by the equation f equals to ma. m is 10 kg. However, a is not given directly. Therefore, we need to determine the value of a from u, v, and t. Let's see the equations of linear motion. In this case, we don't have displacement. The equation that does not involve displacement is v equal to u plus a t. Let's write down the equation. Substitute the values of v, u, and t into the equation. a equal to 5 meter per second square. Now, we can use f equal to ma to find the force. Substitute the values of m and a, f equal to 50 newton. The magnitude of the force is 50 newton. Example 2. A box is accelerating at 6 meter per second square. What is the new acceleration of the object if the net force is triple and the mass of the object is double? The initial acceleration A equal to F over M, and it is equal to 6 meter per second square. If the net force is triple, the force will become 3F, and if the mass of the object is double, the mass will become 2M. The new acceleration is equal to 3F over 2M. We can write this as 3 over 2 multiplied by F over M. From equation 1, we know that F over M is equal to 6. Therefore, the new acceleration is 9 meter per second square. From this example, we learn that acceleration is directly proportional to the net force, but inversely proportional to the mass of the object. If the force is triple, the acceleration will also triple. If the mass is double, the acceleration will become half.